Good morning. Okay, I'll get the music on. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm just getting myself started as well. Let's see if I'm coming in. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Laura. We don't have very many people on at all. Oh yeah, okay. So I'm doing pretty good. Good morning, good morning. Okay, so here we go. Let me just set my camera just a little more. All right, you guys, I keep getting less and less people for the rebounding. Ah. Okay, so if you want today, grab, can you grab your dip bars for me? I know some of you don't have dip bars. They're not required. I know Laura it might just be me in class today. <laughs> so if so, we have dip bars, right? So you're gonna want your resist band today. I can tell I'm absolutely lopsided here. So I'm just gonna fix everything. Good morning. So today is like a little bit of a hit. Um, okay, that is pretty good, but I'm gonna try to get rid of my lights just a little bit. So if you don't have dip bars, they are absolutely not required today. But today is hit and strength. How about that? You guys have to be able to see my ceiling a little bit because um, the rebounder is higher and I will be jumping. So you're gonna notice I have my stoop. You're gonna notice I have a resist -a band. Good morning, Virginia. Okay, that is really non-kosher that y'all can see my lights. I just, that's gonna bug me. So, let me kind of get this straightened out just a little more. Okay, I think I'm done. Get better at least playing with my tripod, right guys? Okay, so. All right, Laura. Okay, hello guys. We are just a small, my classes, the sizes just keep getting a little bit smaller and smaller. Not liking that too much. <laughs> okay, anyway, let me tell you what we're doing today. Hello, happy Thursday. So you guys, if you don't have a dip bar, you don't need a dip bar, absolutely. So we're gonna run through five blocks, but you're gonna love today because the blocks are really short. You have one hit and one strength one hit or lit, right? We know the rebounder is low intensity anyway. So we're gonna have basically one song, you know, of hit cardio, and then one song of strength. And we're gonna have five blocks. So it's gonna run by really quick. So some of the things you're gonna want, you're gonna wanna anchor if you can. Anchor just to resist a band too, onto the very bottom. You don't need to have a stability bar to anchor. Again, if you don't have a resist -a band, not required. I'm gonna show you how to do it with your own body or with a hand weight, like a really light hand weight. So let me just show you what we're gonna do. Rotational patterns, you're gonna take your left hand, you're gonna take it to the back of the left corner and you're gonna turn. And then we're gonna come forward to the right hip. We're gonna come up, we're gonna rotate, we're gonna come up and we're gonna come down. Another one, we're gonna pull side and down, side and down. So I'm just showing you some of the things we're gonna do with the band that's anchored, all right? Another one we can do is right here, bicep curl, tricep kickbacks. That's why I want, I have a really light one. I have a yellow, okay? So over here, I have three pounds I have five pounds. I do have my ball sticking in here. I have my ball and I have my fit stick. Remember, this is just a broomstick. <laughs> Look, my end fell off. PVC piping, you know, whatever. I have my dip bar. Again, guys, you don't need that dip bar because all you need is light hand weights. You don't need the dip bar, but if you have the dip bar, we're gonna place our feet on the rebounder when we do the push-pull and we'll do that. So I'm gonna get my dip bar just out of the way a little bit because I've gotta be able to kick. 
Again, you're going to use the equipment you have available to you. You're absolutely not going to worry about the equipment you do not have available to you. You're going to ask me, Angie, are we going to use egg weights today? I'm not. I am not going to use egg weights. And I'm not going to use a booty band. Okay, so let me read your comments. We're letting everybody get started. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Roland. Good morning, Virginia. All right, you guys. So we're going to start with um, our motivational song. It's three minutes. And we're going to do the health bounce while we're just kind of warming up because I truly believe, um, oh, good job, Laura. Yeah, you know what, Laura? I kind of thought for you guys that are on here, my regulars, I was like, some of you have the dip bars and I'm like, okay, let's, let's go ahead and rock and roll with them. Okay, so, and then, um, you know, you can modify everything. When we do the hit, it's your timing, okay? So we're gonna just start it. Happy, beautiful Thursday. All right, this is gonna be a beautiful class. So the first song that we're gonna do our health bounce to, it's called Imagine. What do you think about that, guys? Imagine. It's a beautiful song, and it's gonna really set the tone for us. I'm gonna turn it up. Okay, put the ball in between your legs. Health bounce, three minutes. I believe in a health bounce, you know that. We gotta get our body warmed up. Imagine living your dreams and everything you wanted became true. So let's just feed. If you had one shot, if Health you had bounce. one chance to do what Your you feet don't to, leave. Would you take your grasp and Happy embrace Thursday. the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? <sighs> You've only got one life. Shake just it out. Know it's a just just help out. Imagine living your dreams and everything you wanted became true. What would you do if you had one shot? If you had one chance to do what you love to? Would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life. One life. And just know it's a canvas you paint to. You probably got a dream, do you? Think about it nonstop, no one believes in you. Everybody's trying to tell you that you can't do something and you feel goosebumps coming straight through you. Yeah, just imagine all that can happen if you say yes to yourself. To yourself. One can live a happy life, but only if it's built by himself. Imagine living your dreams and everything Arms up you and down. True. What would you do if you had one shot, if you had one chance to do what you love to? Would you take your grasp and embrace Health the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life, and just know it's a canvas you paint through. And that's a living your dreams, and everything you wanted became true. What would you do if you had one shot, if you had one chance to do what you love to? Would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life, one life. and just know it's a canvas you paint through. If life was a painting, one just arm with front, the tools one that you're going to use to paint it. Each one is a nice different color. Slow. Some are going to be sweet and some just dangerous. Rotation. But no matter what they are, you are the one that is holding the brush. A lot of colors won't fit, but you're never going to know unless you dare to try them out. Just health bounce. Imagine living your dreams and everything you wanted became true. What would you Enjoy do this health bounce. Shot, if you had Wake up your body. You what you love to. Would you take your grasp and embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough? You've only got one life. Just know it's a Press canvas down. you paint And that's a living your dreams And everything you wanted became true What would you do if you had one shot If you had one chance to do what you love to Would you Feed take your mind. Grasp and embrace the fact That this chance just might be a breakthrough You've only got one life, one life. And just know it's a canvas you paint to And that's a living your dreams And everything you wanted became true What would you do if you had one shot If you had one chance to do what you love to Would you take it back Embrace the fact that this chance just might be a breakthrough. You've only got one life, one life. And just know it's a canvas you paint to. One life, one canvas, one paintbrush. Imagine. Inhale. And exhale. I always firmly believe warming up with the health bounce for a couple minutes, three to five minutes. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the narrow bounce. You're gonna start pressing up and down. I'll turn the music down. But we're gonna start with our hit. I already showed you what we're doing. All right, we got that music. I got that music down so you can hear me. Are you gonna hit it? Right here. You're in your first block. Feet land nice and equal. 
right here. I'm gonna turn the music up, but you're still in that hit. You're still in that hit. Y'all know I film live. That's much better. All right. Right here. Land nice and equal between that right and left leg. Push, press down. Press. Whew. All right. We're gonna do three little hops, one big hop. So you're gonna count one, two, three, and then one big. All right. You're in that hit. Just bounce. Go. One, two, three. One big. Pressing down. Three little hops or three little press downs into the mat. And then one hop. So one, two, three. One hop. Three press downs. One hop up. So the intensity is in that hop down. Right? One, two, three. Then hop up. Two, three. Bounce right. center. Next one. We're gonna jump rope. Side to side. Got it? Woo! Go! Go as quick or as slow as you wanna go today. But it's like jump rope arms. That side to side skipping, jump rope. Push. You got it. Come on. Push. Press. Next one. Push it forward. Push it back. Push it forward. Push it back. Your timing. Your hit workout, okay? Go, push it forward and back. Push forward like you're pushing a door. And then come back with the elbows. Whew. That ball in between your leg helps keep the hip, knees, toes, ankles pointing forward. Engaging that pelvic floor. It's a natural pelvic floor engagement. Okay, next one. You're gonna press down, arms, circle in and out. It's that press down that's gonna get us. Press down in your heels, quick arms. Go. You get one minute recovery when we're done with hit. Yeah? So it's that press down that is gonna matter here. Push, push, push. Press down. Go quick with the arms. Big circles. Shoulder mobility, guys. Press down. Press. Next one. Side to side. Now you can do running arms or press the arms out. Your call. Come on, breathe it through. Oh, you know what? Okay. We're resting. Whew. Just bounce in the center. Steady state cardio. This is steady state cardio. Right here. Because I don't know if we're going to go again. Steady state cardio with that bounce. Right here. All right. So I think we're getting ready to go into our strength. But stick with this steady state bounce. Arms come forward, arms come back. Steady state bounce, feet come off. Just a beautiful bounce. Hit it. All right, there we go, I knew it. Okay, so go ahead, put that ball up. Put that ball up. Can you grab the resistor band or one light hand weight? Remember I showed you? All right, so I want you to put your right foot forward. I want you to have your left foot back. You're gonna take the left hand, come with me. Come up to that back left corner. Look over the right shoulder so your head has to pass over. Up and down. Let's try it again slow. Up, head passes over, up and down. Let's go. Up, 
over, up and down, major shoulder mobility, stability, and strength. I know you don't ever do this, I already know that. Up, head over, head up. You don't have to have any weight. If you have any shoulder issues, you would not do any weight. You would just do the movement by itself. Up, four more, four more. Up, then turn, up, down. Three more. We're not going to the beat of the music on this because we really want to control this, right? Two more. This is not beat driven. Yeah, this is beautiful for your shoulders. Beautiful, absolutely functional fitness. Okay, we're gonna put that left foot forward. We're gonna put the right foot back. We're gonna take, let's just practice two before we begin. Make sure nothing's gonna hit your head. Take it up to that right corner. Turn, look over that left shoulder. Up and down. You gotta pass the resistive band, your head through. Up, then turn, then up and down. Are you ready? Not be driven. We're gonna try for 12. We gotta even it out. Here we go. I bet you you've never done this on a rebounder before. Turn. That's one. Go, go to my beat. Go to my beat. Not be driven. Turn. Again, no weight required. Just doing this movement, we're hitting rotational patterns and we're hitting shoulder mobility and shoulder stability. Up, turn. That's four. I'm counting. You got 12. Up, turn. Keep it bend in the elbow. Do not lock out that elbow. Turn, in, five. Up, turn, in, six. Up, turn, in, seven. Up, turn, I can add a lot more weight to this, eight. Up, turn, in, nine. Up, turn, in, 10. Two more, up, turn, in. You gotta control it the whole time. All right, put the weight in that, put the resistive band in that right hand, up. So you're gonna add as much tension as you need. Thumb up, thumb up, thumb up. Eight more, here we go, for eight. Seven, six, I don't wanna put undue pressure on that rotator cuff. So I want that thumb up. Melt your shoulders away from your ears, melt. Now turn it into a bicep curl, bicep curl, bicep curl, bicep curl. Right here, a beautiful bicep curl. Yeah, come on, we're gonna turn that into a tricep kickback. Back, back, back. Four more, we're gonna go the other side. And four, and three, and two, and one. Can you just grab left hand? Again, grab as much resistance as you need. Okay, four, let's go up and down with the right hand. Up, down. Up, we're doing everything on that right side. Up, down, eight more, here we go. Eight, seven, six. My resistive band is only 10 pounds total, right? So it's not really heavy because we gotta be able to do rotational patterns. Bicep curl, up, down, up and down, up and down. Up and down, four more, four, four, and down, and three, and down. You got those tricep kickbacks. You gotta give me eight. I know the music's gonna change. Eight, in, don't worry, seven, six. I gotta even you out. Five, four, three, we're gonna jack. We're gonna jack. Put that down. In a minute, jump right here. Jack, just give me a jack. All right, you guys, you're in block two. I don't think, I don't know if the hip music is gonna come on. This is like a rest. Okay. I guess we just had a hit. So you guys are gonna bounce 
and I'm gonna fast forward this to the beginning. Go. It didn't have it. This is your hit. Press down. Now, I want the arms. Here's different. I want the arms at that corner diagonal. I want you to press down. This is your hit. It just didn't say it. It got cut off. So we're back into hit. Block two of five. So thumbs up, pinkies down. Drive the corners, press down. Press. Bounce in the center. All right. Whew. So, so we're gonna drive. So this is about arm driving. We're gonna press forward. Thumbs up, pinkies down. Drive as you press. Go. Go. Arms up and down, pinkies drive down. It's like your arms are a knife. You gotta really use the own body weight of your arms. And you gotta press down into that mini trampoline. Don't roll on the outside of your foot or the inside of your foot, right? Don't come too far, far forward on your toes or heels. Nice and even bouncing between that right and left leg. Press. Bounce. Whew. Next, we're gonna ski. We're gonna have solid arms. We're gonna just flap the arms right here. So it's like you're moving through wet cement, pressing down. Go. Work right here. Ski. But I want the arms nice and rigid, pressing a spring down. You gotta spring between your armpits and your arms. Use your own arm body weight. Engage the bicep, tricep, shoulders. Engage them. Don't flail your arms. Nice, solid control. Let's go. Press. Sound center. Whew. All right, we're gonna do heels, and we're gonna do drive our arms in front. We're gonna do heels, drive our arms. This is all about driving those arms. Go. go. Move through that wet cement. Slice. Slice it. Let's go. Beautiful slicing with the arms. Beautiful control. Thumb up, pinky down. Pressing that heel down into that mini trampoline. Right here. Boom. Push. Ah. Uh. Slice. Rest. Whew. Bounce in the center. You're always bouncing in the center. Now next one, elbows are touching the inside of your rib cage. You're gonna press down with your heels. And we're gonna slice out. Go. Press down with your heels. Glute, hamstring activation. Elbows into the side of your rib cage, and then out to the side. Lift your toes. You're in a dorsiflexion pattern. Your feet are flexed. Toes are lifted. We're back in our heels, getting that glute hamstring activation. Right here. Press down nice and equal between that right and left heel. Come on. Press. Bounce center. Bounce center. Next one. Strong, solid arms. Right here. Solid. Press down. Got it? Okay. This may be it. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead. Let's do the arms. You can bounce too. Steady state cardio until the song switches. Right here. So I guess we're gonna always end with steady state cardio bouncing. Right here. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Nice, solid, strong arms. Cutting. Just bouncing side to side. Okay, we're gonna go into a push-pull, push-ups on the rebounder. You can grab your dip bar. If you don't have a dip bar, you don't need one. I'll show you what to do. Okay, no dip bars. Ooh, so you go back, one, row back for one with weights. Back, and one. We go two by two. So. Did you get that? We're gonna do eight. Now, whether you're on your dip bar or not, remember it's like this. One, in, two. 
Remember? One and two. We're on the dip bars. Pull ups. Two by two. Everyone. One, two. Woo! So it's a one, two pattern. Push pull in this segment. One, two. One, two. Y'all, we know what we're doing. One and two. Again, one, two. Whoo. One, two. One more. One, two. All right. I just scooted my butt up. Listen, I'm going to give you options. No dip bar. Your hands are on the frame. And then we're doing push ups. Two by two. You got that dip bar. You're going to lift that outside leg. Two by two. Everyone, push up two by two. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two, down, two. You got four more. If you're with me, lift the back leg. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Everyone's two by two count. Down, two, up, two, down, two, up, two. Everyone grab that resistor band. Make it as tight as you want. Make it as tight as you want. We're going to row back, side, back, side. I'm going to double time it. Everyone, here we go. Back, side, back, side, back, side, back. Side, sit back in your heels, back, side, back, side, back, side. Eight more, we're gonna switch. Eight, seven, six, five, I know you're burning. Four, and three, and two. You're gonna get a quick break. Now, other hand is gonna be quick. So grab as much resistance on the tube. Okay, can you guys do a wide squat? Sit back in your heels. Slide hip hinge, are you ready? Back side, really quick, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. We're going back into push-ups for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, you get to do push ups here, here, wall, whatever you want. Whew. Now, if you want with me, you're going to walk your feet back so you're in like a plank. We're not going to lift a leg. Come up on your toes. Everyone, two by two, down, two, up two, we have eight, down, two, up, two, down, two, up, three, down, two, up, four, down, two, up, five, down, two, up, six, down, two, up, Seven, down, two, up, eight. Quick break. All right, I think this may be it. But in case it's not, we're gonna do pull-ups one more time. You're gonna do the two by two. You're gonna squeeze that lemon in between your shoulders. Everyone, let's see how far we get. Two by two, up, two. We're almost done. We're gonna go into block three in just a minute. I think the music's gonna change. All right, don't worry. I will switch it back out, but can you guys get those dip bars away? Don't worry, I'll switch it out. Get those dip bars out. We'll use them for core. We'll use the dip bars for core. Woo! Grab a small swig of water. Grab a small swig of water. Hey, listen, you don't ever have to come off your rebounder, ever. 
I can, my heart rate stays really good where I can come off and on. All right, you guys, how we doing, Laura, Eva, Roland? Okay, we're gonna roll it back into hit. We're gonna do runners where we press down in the mat. Okay, are you ready? So, we're gonna do runners right here. We're in block three. This is our hit. Pressing down into the mat. Hit it. Hit it. Right here. I guarantee you're gonna be sore tomorrow after this workout. <laughs> I am doing so many new moves for you guys. I'm doing this 10 week course, functional movement course for physical therapy. It's a 10 week course. I've got to do it every day for 10 weeks. I'm gonna bring a whole bunch of stuff to you. I already am. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna go wide, like tire runs. It's a press down into the mat. Okay. Whew. Hit and functional Whoa. fitness today. What are you thinking? You can tell I'm going through the 10 week physical therapy course. We're getting really deep in the anatomy of myofascia ligaments, tendons, and how our body is supposed to move. It's not about strength, man. It's about the stability, the mobility your body has to give. Press. Yeah. So next one, butt kickers. Now, you're just gonna move forward. Visualize, you're kicking your heel to your butt. Butt kickers, hold on to your bar if you want. Go! Hold on to your bar, modify accordingly. Nice runner arms, right here. Push, push, come on. Right here, push. Get those heels to your butt, visualize it. Yeah, good job. Now we're gonna do heels. Last time, we did them front. We're gonna just go wide, like they're on the side. We're gonna press the arms down to the side, go. to the outside of your thighs. It's that press down. Right here. It's working those hips a little different than pressing the heels straight to the front. Come on. Use those arms. Beautiful heels. Press down into the mat. Whew. Good job. We're gonna go back into those runners because I love runners. It's about the press down. So, let's see. We may be going into strength, but press down. Let's go. Press it down. Down, down, down. Smash. Nice and heavy. Focus on that press down. Run those arms. Press it down. Press it down. Nice and even between that right and left leg. Press down, 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 down. Come on. Oh, shoulders melt away from your ears. Bounce. Right. Bounce center. Whew. Steady state. Ah. Breathe. We're gonna ski if there's another one. I don't think there's another one. Bounce. Just a beautiful bounce in the center. Cause it's Thursday bounce party. Just a beautiful bounce to end block three cardio. How about that? I love to just bounce on my rebounder. Free form bouncing. Hip, knees, toes pointing forward. All right. We're gonna go into some hip hinging, leg work. But we're gonna finish this song with beautiful high bouncing. Steady state cardio right here. 
side to side bounce. Now, if you have a fit stick, you don't have to have one. If you have it, grab it. And if you have a ball, grab it. Come on. Right here. Put that ball on the tops of your thighs. Can you get that stick? Put it on the middle of your spine. All right, we're gonna focus on that hip hinge. Two by two, here we go. Down, two, up, two. Now you want that stick to be super glued to your spine. Don't let it come off. Press down nice and even between that right and left leg. Now splay your toes. Don't roll on the outside of your foot. Don't roll on the inside of your foot. I'm really working on that hip mobility. Right now what we're doing is working on mobility and strength through the glutes and the hamstrings. Now if you want, you can lift your toes. You can press down, press up through your heels, up to you. Let's focus on this hip hinge form. We got eight more, hip knees, toes pointing forward. That fit stick is super glued to the middle of your spine. If you notice it wants to roll or come off, those are your imbalances. We got four more. Now you only go far, as far down as you can go. Some of us have greater range of motion because we work on mobility a lot. If not, do this workout over and over. Now, if you have that, grab your stick. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come by our frame. So walk your, walk your toes by your frame. Nice and even, shoulders set back. We're gonna take that bar below the frame and we're gonna come up, here we go. Down, two, up to the, up, down and then nice and up. So when we're coming up with our hands, feel your back extensors begin to work. So I'm doing a lot here. We're working on the hamstrings and the glutes and hip mobility and back stabilizing muscles. You're gonna feel the rhomboids. You're gonna feel the trapezius. You're gonna feel the lats. Engage as you lift up. Move through that wet cement. Today, I want you to focus on that range of motion. So your shoulders are set back, down and away from your ears. Nice and equal between that right and left leg. Now, we're gonna hip hinge. Sit back nice and even between that right and left foot. Do you feel nice and equal? Sit your butt back, lift your toes. We're gonna take the bar to our forehead. Up and down to the knees. Up, forehead, straight down to the knees. Up, forehead, not forehead, you guys, crown of your head. Up, crown of your head, straight down to the kneecaps. Up, here, up, down. Are you nice and equal between that right and left leg? You are not rolling out on the outside of your foot, you guys, or the inside of your foot. Proper form is everything. Up. Now we're gonna take it to the crown of our head. Crown of our head, press out. Crown of our head, press out. Crown, press out. Crown, press out. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Come up really quick. Whoo! Yeah, yeah, good stuff, right? Put that bar. Get that bar back on your spine. Equal it up, shoulders back. I told you, this is hip hinge time, you guys. You got like one minute left. Down, two, up, two. Down, two. That bar better be super glued. Shoulders set back. Down and away from your ears, you guys. 50-50 between that right and left heel. Don't put more weight on that left heel than the right. You're gonna create muscle imbalance. We don't want that. No, 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 no. I promise if you stick with me, you're gonna get the best shape of your life. Absolutely. All right, are you guys ready? Woo, come up, put this away. Put it away, 
Are you ready to go back into hit? Block four. Okay, we're gonna use those arms again. We're gonna just press narrow, and then arms are gonna press down, just like that. So right now, we're gonna be in a narrow jump, almost like the insides of your toes and the insides of your heels. Let's go right here. It didn't say hit it, but we're hitting it. So right here, you're in a narrow jump, middle fingers touch, pinkies down, nice and even, right here. Use those arms. Told you today is big arm movement day. Pressing down into the mat. Press, press. Just keep going. Rest. Woo. All right, so we know we got these big arm movements, right? So before we were a narrow, we were a narrow bounce. Take it one foot apart. So feet are hip width apart. Go. And same thing with the arms. Pressing down. Middle finger touches. And then pinky down. Right here. Push. Let's go. Push, push, push. Nice and evenly as you press down into that mini trampoline. Don't create a greater muscle imbalance. Start to get really in tune with your body. Okay, wider. One more foot step out. So this is wider. Your feet are wider than hip width apart. Same arms. It's all about that press. Arms up and down, middle finger go. You're gonna really feel, if you're pressing with those heels, you're gonna really feel the glutes, hamstrings, really activate. Also the tibialis anterior in the front, because your foot is more in a dorsiflexion pattern, you're gonna feel that front muscle engage a little more. Do you feel those shoulders? Rhomboids and lats, middle finger, pinky touch. Okay, so I want you to really pull, engage those back muscles. We're gonna ski, same arm pattern the whole time. Middle finger touches. Middle finger pinky, like you're just grabbing a rope, pulling it down, moving through that wet cement. Let's go. That's why I'm not using egg weights today. I want big arm movements over light hand weights. Come on. Ah. Ah. I'm gonna go back into the narrow. Back into the narrow. So if you wanna visualize, your big toes are touching and the insides of your feet. See what that narrow feels like. Press down, Go. arms. Go, middle finger, pinky down. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Press it down, nice and equal. I'm starting to get tired, I can tell. Even for me, I'm not pressing down nice and equal. Focus on proper body mechanics. On that proper press down, feel the glutes and the hamstrings. Really engage. Ah. Woo, side to side. I love that side to side shuffle. Right here. If we have one more song, one more hit, we're gonna press down, quick arms out. But I don't think we do. Woo, right here. Steady state. We're getting that heart rate back down. So today is a really feel good rebounding class. We've worked hard all week. Today we're pushing, but not in a super duper duper hard push way. I would say this is beginner advanced to intermediate level today. Not easy, not hard, but we're moving right here. Beautiful, beautiful job. Okay, you can step touch, you can do your light bounce. You can do whatever you want. We're gonna go into balance. So this is the time 
you can take that resistive band tubing off. You can take that, if you have that off your rebounder, because we're going to actually use it. Balance work. Okay, you guys are bouncing again. Not required. Nothing required. So if you want, I just don't like the handles on it. Okay, we're going to hit balance. Feel free to use your stability bar. We're going to take that left leg out. We're going to just take the resistor band over the crown of our head. A little press out. Up. Two. We've got 60 seconds. Now your pinkies are pressing out. So it's a little tension on that resistor band. Arms do not go behind your ears. Soft bend in the right knee. Stabilizing in through that right side. Balance and hip abduction work. Gluteus maximus, hitting that gluteus medius with this exercise. Again, your hands can be on the bar. Your call. Oh, we only have one more block. Up. Take a break. Shake that out. Again, you can do all this on the floor. Okay, soft bend in the left knee. Right leg, press it out a little bit and lift. We got 45 seconds. Beautiful balance. Why am I having you press out? Do you feel that shoulder activation? Yeah? Soft bend in the elbow. Do you feel that shoulder activation? In through the shoulders. When you give just a slight press out. Yeah? Now, no pressure. Now, just give a little, little pressure out. Yeah, you're gonna feel that thoracic region, that mid back rhomboids and a little bit of that latissimus dorsi. Shoulders set back, help set those shoulders back, down and away from your ears. Ooh, shake it out. Yeah, okay, so right here, right foot in the center. We're just gonna kick it out. Now I just want a little pressure, here we go. Kick. Now work in that left quad, elbows. A little pressure with elbows coming back, 10%. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. I'm doing an isometric contraction with that upper body with a little tension. Not gobs of tension, maybe 10 to 15% tension. You're giving just a little tension, little bit. Don't roll on the outside of that right foot. Nice and even. Come on. You want to work the ankle out. Come on, 45 seconds of work. Shoulders back. I know I'm asking a lot of your body. Shake it out. Whew. Again. No resistive band required. You could still just press back. Okay, let's get that left foot in the center. Soft bend in the left knee. Let's give that little tension. 45 seconds of work. Move through that wet cement. Isometric contraction through that upper body. Always working your body in new patterns, you guys. Let's go. You feel that quad, that right quad working? Woo! When you lengthen it out, that's an eccentric contraction. You're taking that quadricep to the end range of motion. Four and three, two, woo! Oh, I'm gonna ask a lot of you here. We're gonna take it behind us. We're gonna lift as we take one leg in the center and hold it right here. Hold for 30 seconds. Can you give a little tension with that resistive band? Just a little tension where the pinky is trying to come out and away from the body. Right here. You can do it. Working that hip extension working the rear deltoids in that isometric contraction. Let's switch legs. You're still holding it. You're, those pinkies are trying to press away from your body. 
you don't worry. Don't you worry. We've got 10 more seconds. I'll just rewind the music like an old cassette tape. We'll re rewind the music. Hit it. All right, come up. You guys bounce. We're going to have one more hit it. Woo! One more hit it. So what we're going to do is jack. You guys are going to jack. Okay, not yet. Woo! You are in block five of five. Yeah? This is it. We have core then. Some beautiful stretching. Hit it! Let's go. Let's do arms in and out. Oh, wow. Your timing. Remember, pressing down is going to get that intensity. Tell me, you guys. Woo! Is your upper body not fried in a really good way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Woo! Your timing goes as quick as you want. Bounce in the center. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. We're going to jump rope again. It's just feet or hip width apart. And we're going to do big jump roping arms. Go. Go. Press down. Big jump roping arms. Come on. Big jump roping. Can you guys believe it? This is it. Block five. And then we're going to do some gorgeous stretching. But we have to do core after this, you guys. We've got to do core. Come on, pressing down is where the work's at. Whew. Rest. Rest. Now we're going to go back to the heels in front. We're going to interlace our fingers on this one. We're going to pull down. Interlace your fingers. And we're going to pull down. Go. Oh. Come on. You got it, guys. Wow. Rebounding classes always literally fly by. They are low impact, but they really pack a beautiful body movement punch. Bounce. Woo. All right. Runners are next. I just absolutely love runners. You're pressing down into the mat. Press it down. Work all those lower body muscles. Go. Press it down. Press it down. Your knees naturally reverberate back up. But it's on that press, 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 press. Oh, just feel that trampoline going down, down, down. Melt your shoulders away from your ears. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Don't round. Side to side. Next one, if we have it, your choice. Whatever move you love to do. But I don't know if we're going to have another one. Yep, we are. This is your call. I like the tuck jump. It's about the press down, not the up. So even when you're in a tuck jump, it's about that press down nice and equal between that right and left leg. Land nice and equal. Press. Side to side. Catch your breath. Steady state cardio. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. We're going into core. Woo! We just have core. Oh yeah, if you wanna do dip bars, grab your dip bars. If you wanna do dip bars, dip bar core, you can. And don't worry, you don't need it. I just can't tell you guys enough, you don't need half this equipment. If you just have your rebounder in your body, that's all you need. I just love equipment. So I love to use it 
if I have it available to me, right? Now, when the music changes, if you don't have a dip bar, if you don't have a dip bar, you're gonna come down to the ground and you're gonna do basic crunches like this. Up and down, up and down. That's your timing. Just a basic crunch up and down. Now, if you're with me, you're gonna in, out, hang, back, hang. It's reactive core, all right? Everyone's 16. You're just gonna do basic crunch or reactive core if you can. One, two, knees to belly button height. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone break. Pick a side, any side. Pick a side, any side. We're gonna knee to elbow. 16, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, point your toe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch sides. Turn. Woo! In a minute, don't pull on your head, neck, or shoulders. And then we're gonna go after this back to basic crunches or your bar, reactive core training. Four, three, 16, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and break. If you don't have a bar, get back on your back. Whew. Take a quick break because this reactive core training is a lot. Okay, if not, you know you got the basic crunch. Walk your toes back. Ready, everybody, here we go. One, two, we got 16. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Everyone stand up, toes out, reach the back of your butt, right hand to the left, left hand to the right, turn. I'm in a little rotational pattern. Turn, turn. I'm gonna finish us off with rotational core. Turn, turn. So that left hand comes to the back of that right butt cheek. Right hand comes to the back of that opposite butt cheek. Feel that rotation, feel that rotation. Open up through the elbows, turn and open. Turn and open, turn. Oh, beautiful rotational movement here. Turn, 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 turn. Now I want you to interlace your fingers on top. Circle, circle. I want you to open up and through the shoulders. I want you to open up and through the hips. Draw that big circle. Big, up, back, and reverse, reverse. Up and back, up, back. 
So this, you have a soft bend in your elbows. Fingers are interlaced right here. Big body movements, big body movements. Come on, draw soft bend in your knees, soft bend in your elbows. Just feel that beautiful circular movement pattern. Put your dip bars away. If you have dip bars, put the dip bars away. If not, you are on your rebounder. Get back in that health bounce. Get back in that health bounce. Get back in that health bounce. I'm gonna turn the music up. And the reason is we are going into stretching. Whew, good job today. Don't you worry, but we've got a lot of mobility and stretching ahead. Now you can either put your right heel here or put your right heel here. Your call. Beautiful workout. You are not done. You have two two songs. Woke up this your mobility morning, block. So many blessings. You woke blessings, up this morning with so many blessings. blessings. Heel on the rebounder if you want. This morning, destined for greatness. Absolutely. Turn it to the I side. Down the door you can come down and reach. If you want, you can lift that top hand up. All options. Hand down if it was down, come up. Take that right leg off. Option. Left heel down or left heel up. Miracles. Oh, beautiful mobility. I in I do in All right, I turn that right leg to the side. Grab your frame if you want. Oh, beautiful stretch. Lift that top hand if you want. Top hand down. Come back up. Take that foot off. Good job. All right, guys. Do all this on the ground. Or if not, I want that back leg, knee up, on the rebounder, and arms up. Oh, beautiful hip flexor stretch. It starts from within. I guess it's a man of starts from Front hand down, and look over that back shoulder. Okay, if you can, take that back hand down, front hand up. All right, take that back leg off. Take that front leg on. Front leg down and lift. Look over that back shoulder. Come forward, front hand down, back hand lift. Last song, last working song, or not working song, mobility song. Hand down, take that front leg off. Listen, shoulder mobility time. If you need to pad your knees, pad them. Okay, what we're gonna do, shoulder mobility. 
you're just going to put your forearms on the rebounder, butt on your heels, and let your upper body hang below your arms. Feel that stretch all in through the shoulders. Butt to the heels, hands on the reformer, and just drop. You can move side to side with those hips. Shoulder mobility time. Shoulder and upper body postural mobility time. All right, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Cat cow stretch. Spinal mobility. Your timing. Cat cow stretch. Move through that wet cement. All right, guys, put that back hand on the reformer. Front hand, thread the needle. So that front hand is going to the back of the room. That back hand is simply on the reformer. Trying to sit your butt on your heels as well. Feel that stretch in your hips and your upper body. All right, front hand on the reformer. Bottom hand comes to the front of the room. Butt on the heels. Walk that front hand away from your body. One last stretch. You can, if you don't have the mobility, go back into this stretch. Hands on the reformer. If you can, touch the backs of your shoulders. Rest. Rest, cross your hands, and put your forearms on the rebounder. You're crossing. Elbows are on the rebounder. If you can't do this, you're going to go to the first stretch where your hands are just on. Major, major, awesome postural uh, reset right here. You're going to feel the pectoralis major and minor stretch, supraspinatus, subscapularis, all these muscles in the rotator cuff. This is going to, this is a beautiful stretch to um, get rid of forward neck posture and uh, forward shoulder posture. Again, I already showed you, if you can't do this, don't do it. All right, if you're with me, wherever you're at, come on up. You can come on your rebounder or the floor. Just a beautiful side stretch. I gaze to the ceiling. A lateral stretch. Shoulders back. Other side. Shoulders back. Deep breath in. And exhale. Come on the ground. After our mobility track, which was the last track, stand up tall, shoulders back. Just feel your body right now. Don't ever think that just doing cardio and strength training is going to get you the body you want. Functional fitness, functional fitness. You have to have a strong connective tissue, myofascial, opening and releasing um, type of body in order for your body to be able to do proper cardiovascular and muscular and strength exercises. So um, I'm gonna bring a lot to the table in this 10 week physical therapy course. I just signed up for it yesterday. Gotta get 30, 40 hours in continuing education 
for the physical therapy, Tennessee Physical Therapy Board of Education. So I decided to do this 10 week course. And uh, it is meant for physical therapy, personal trainers, athletics. It's just how to keep the human body functional and going and where we can do beautiful movement patterns in which our body is meant to do so we can live with no pain. So I don't want to be like, oh, my back hurts. Oh, my ankle hurts. Oh, my shoulders are up. We don't want any of that. You guys, I know we have to strength train. I know we have to do cardiovascular endurance on, you know, for our heart. But many, many, many in most workouts, other than if you're just doing straight up yoga or Pilates, we are missing the vital component. Call it mobility, call it range of motion, call it functional fitness, call it what you want. But that is a vital and huge component of what we're missing. And people don't like working out because when they work out, it hurts their body. Duh, why does it hurt their body? Do they have the mobility? Do they have the proper range of motion? You know, do they have the stability in the muscles? You've got to have range of motion, mobility, stability, and then strength, right? You can't have strength and have no range of motion and no mobility. So I hope you guys are going to really love bringing this to, that I'm bringing this to you and to the table because 2021, if you just absolutely stick with me in these workouts, you are going to feel like the most vibrant you have ever felt with your body movement patterns. You're going to be like, holy moly, I couldn't do that. Wow. Look at what I can do. Wow. I used to have back pain. Oh, my knee used to hurt. Oh, my ankle. You know, amazing, right? So let me turn this off and let me tell you how many calories I burned. I just get so excited because I love the human body. I love the physiology of the human body. I love the ligaments and the tendons and the muscles and the myofascia and all this connective tissue. And we are one, we are integrated, we are whole. So I'm truly, I have learned everything on a physiological level and I'm continuing to, I'm continuing to go deeper and deeper in that physiological connective tissue, uh, muscle, ligament, tendon realm and just how dynamically we move amazing you guys yes that's like candy to me it's like pure candy learning about all this stuff which i already know but i am just diving like tenfold deeper into it okay i thought why not i've been wanting to take this course it was a lot of money uh, but i've been wanting to take it for like a year and i'm like that's it i'm taking it so i'm going to tell you why too i love my little hubby uh, four, okay, let me tell you, 505 calories, 4,302 steps, 2.58 miles. Okay, let me tell you why I signed up for last night. So my husband comes home, and he says, I don't even know what he bought. He bought an old classical car. I mean, like, old classical car. And he just comes home, and he's like, I just bought an old classical car. And I'm like, yeah, I know nothing about cars. And I'm like, uh, yeah. And I go, how much did you spend? And he told me, and old classical cars are quite a bit of money. And, uh, I go, he goes, I'm going to put another 15 to 20,000 in it. And I'm like, but I didn't say anything because he works hard. It's our money. He doesn't want much. So I'm like, he wanted to get a motorcycle. So I'm like, go get your classical car, you know, because my husband is, lives on the edge. He truly, 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 truly lives on the edge. He is a thrill seeker through and through and through and through. And we all knew if he got a motorcycle, I probably wouldn't have him around maybe a year or less and I'd be a widow. I mean, that's not morbid. That's just reality because he, uh, is, he lives on the edge guys. That's my husband and I love him but he lives on the edge. So when I cried and cried and cried and, you know, no motorcycle, oh, I need you. And uh, he went like two days later and he goes, well, I just bought a classical car. And I'm like, no problem. <laughs> classical car, seat belts, I'm good. Um, so that's when I decided, you know what? I'm going to sign up for this course because I've been wanting to do it forever. He went, got his classical car. I signed up for my course. <laughs> So that's a story on that. Uh, anyway, 
thought I'd tell you the backstory because once I edit this, you guys won't know the backstory. Hello, <coughs> Virginia. I just stopped in to say hi. I'm reading all your comments right now, beautiful women. Um, Laura's dip bars were ready. Eva, I have been doing so much better in regular life in all, all aspects, flexibility, mobility, strength, balance, all of it. Thanks so much. You are just what I needed. Oh, thank you. That is what it's about, Eva. All I ask is you guys just share. Share these workouts. Share, 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 share. And the reason is, I get it. There's a gazillion one of us group fitness and and trainers out there. Yes, and we all bring something to the table. But I know you guys know that there's not a lot of instructors like me that have my background that are really bringing it to you from from the most elemental levels and up just to keep your body like going for life, you know? Um, oh, Eva, I'm totally, I mean, I've known about functional fitness and I've taken, uh, I am certified in functional, okay, so I am certified in functional movement systems. If you look it up, it is also another physical therapy course that I took and I am fully certified in functional movement systems. I'm a level one trainer, but I'm really resonating with this new system. Uh, it, it, it plays more into group fitness where my functional movement system, uh, level one training certification I have uh, for physical therapy, it doesn't play into group fitness as well. And this one, will play into movements that I can incorporate into the group fitness a little more. So that's why I'm more excited about that. Laura, functional fitness, cardio mobility, stability, strength, and core at its best. Awesome workout. Oh, thank you, Laura. Totally. Oh, Laura, before you get off, can you tell me what you thought of the dip bars and the reactive core training? I mean, what'd you think? I mean, kind of looks easy because you're just, you, you have the rebounder, right? You have the rebounder to get you up and back, but it's that reactive core training um, on the core, having to stop you at the top so you don't kerplunker forward. Yeah, amazing. Um, so isn't my hair not getting long too? Okay, does anybody who's on here need Marsha? Marsha Nari's address to send a card to. Marsha um, has lost a loved one that's very dear to her. And I thought it would be beautiful that we send a card because we're from all over the world. Now, Marsha, as you know, is usually in our rebounding class. And Marsha does usually most of the lives and she's an administrator of the Fit Over 40 group. And she's always just encouraging all of us with her beautiful soul and spirit. So as I said yesterday, we have 10 people on. Marsha is usually on here saying hi to everybody. Um, I would, if you would like to send a card, all you have to do is private, Eva, Eva, are you in? Um, are you my friend, Eva? Let me let me go into Facebook really quick, um, and you can private message me, and let me let me get my name here. I'm gonna just put it on the group before we leave today, and private message me. Become my friend. Request to become my friend, Eva. Um, oh, okay. Well, there I am, right there too me on my site, and I will um, send it to you. Oh, yes, and also I want you to know you can private message Laura Beck. She's here too. She's an administrator of the Fit Over 40 Body, Mind, and Spirit group, and she can give you her address as well. Uh, we know Marsha's going to be taking a break, you know. Hey, um, may come back, may not, but I just thought if she knows that all of us from around the world are absolutely thinking of her that I know that would brighten my day just a bit for a moment, right? That you just have, you know, women that are in the group from all over that, that would make my heart happy through this time. So, um, anyway, you guys, tomorrow is going to be a beautiful 
day, Laura. I got some beautiful glute activation exercises for us tomorrow. Yes, Eva, Marsha is a real sweetheart. So just private message me or private message Laura. You guys, I want to say it's been a beautiful rebounding day. Listen, I'm going to mix this whole rebounding workout into different uh, segments. So it's going to be a lot of fun. <gasps> oh my gosh, did I tell you guys? I don't think I told you. Um, I created a new YouTube page. I know most of you know, but I know you guys are getting ready to get off. But wait, just hold on one moment for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post this too. Just give me, uh, oh my goodness, you guys, give me one moment because I am supposed to be able to tell you this. I am creating spe specifically, I have created a rebounding channel, you guys, just where all my new rebounding videos go on. It's right there. So I only got 11 people watching, 11 people. Before we go, right there, click on that YouTube channel and, and subscribe, okay? Do that right now before I get off. I only have 10 people on, and I know some of you already have, um, but I need to start telling everybody that because, listen, my rebounding workouts are getting lost in in a sense, in my Angie Fitness TV page, because you guys, I'm doing functional movement, step, kickboxing, walking, um, uh, circuit, hit, Tabata. So I decided I need to pull off all my rebounding workouts. Not, I mean, I'll leave them on for a year. My current ones that are on my Angie Fitness TV are going. Laura, have a beautiful day. Are going to stay on there, okay? But all my new rebounding workouts are going on my new page. So you guys that are on right now, Eva, everyone, go to this new YouTube channel page right there, that link. Click on it before I leave. I only have 10 people on. Click on it and subscribe because that when I mix this live 198, it will be on my new rebounding for health and fitness page. It will not be on my Angie Fitness TV page. And when I mix this workout to make it shorter, it will be on my new rebounding for health and fitness page, okay? So 10 people right here. I should have told you all in the beginning of class, but right there, rebounding for health and fitness, rebounding for health. And I'm going to show it just so you guys can see it. And then I'm going to go. So right there, rebounding for health and fitness. Hopefully you can see it. And that is where all my new workouts are going, and they're going to be organized in there. Okay. Hi, Miss Diva to you. Hello. Okay. So again, please go to the link above and subscribe on that YouTube channel right now before you guys forget. Um, so you have my new rebounder workouts that are coming out. Can you do that for me? Okay, guys. I actually got to clean my house. So have a beautiful day, guys. Bye.